Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg. He's Q. Together with Mr. Happy 0121. And today, my cat got in the catnip. But besides my cat in the catnip, we're here for a breakfast review. This fool never shows up for a breakfast review. Ever. Well, I did go to sleep yesterday at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've, I've been up for a little while. So part of the unwritten rule for people that have been here and know, not you because you're never here and you don't watch the videos, <laughs> When I do a breakfast with you, I enjoy a nice adult beverage with my breakfast. So here's to you, my friend. All right. Today we're reviewing the Egg Normous Burrito. That's what you want to hear first thing in the morning. A horrible pun. Over 800 <laughs> calories worth of egg. But I will tell you this. This thing is... There's some food up in here. It's yeah. weighty. You could throw that through like a shop window or something. Literally. Yeah. I think you two wrote a song about this. Anyway, rather than force me to eat this entire thing, which would throw off my whole week of power walking, he's volunteered to take half the bullet. So I'm just going to unwrap this bad boy. We're going to cut it in half. You know what? Let's do something just crazy. All right. While it's wrapped, let's cut it in half. No way. That's oh, insane. Yeah. Insanity. And then we'll get you a close-up of the contents. Insanity or laziness. Let's see that schmuck Larry cut food in half that's wrapped. You know, maybe we shouldn't say his name like more than once. Like you say something three times he oh. appears. I think he's gone into witness protection. I think he's quit making yeah. videos. Or he died. You'd feel Very bad positive. then. Not really. He was pretty old. services were held for Larry. This actually worked out pretty good. You got bacon, sausage, hash browns, cheese, and egg. Pretty, pretty good, pretty decent. Now we've been burned by the website before, but when I went to do my research for this, not this particular website, but we've been, been burned before when we give you calorie information. Right now on the Burger King website, it says this is over 800 calories. It's a lot of calories. So I'm hoping that this is only 400. In fact, I hope you got like 500. <laughs> First bite. Something Q also doesn't know. The one thing that Burger King can get correct is breakfast. I once gave a breakfast sandwich from Burger King 100. I think you told me that. Some of the best meals I've ever had from Burger King always at breakfast. Well, that's cool. As the day goes on, apparently the drugs kick in and their abilities oh. diminish. Bite two. Just for the hell of it on bite three, companies send us stuff all the time, wanting us to review it, you know, kick it out, basically give them free promotion. In this case, we're not going to do the La Sriracha Racha review. That's La Sriracha Racha. That's really catchy. But I'm going to try it on this burrito. So maybe you'll get like a secret review. But full disclosure, it was sent to me for free. Bite three. Bonus review within a review. It's got nice heat. It's got a lot of heat. It's got a good flavor. It is different than your average sriracha sauce. It's got a little more kick to it. You know it's a pretty big burrito when it can stand on its own. There you go. Stands on its own. You exposed my burrito. I need a what? <laughs> you heard me. I need a drink of this beverage and then we'll be ready to review or give our grade, if you will. What did you think of the egg normous burrito? In '87, it's pretty darn good. He's not a breakfast guy. I am not a breakfast guy at all. He's not an egg guy. Nope. Not really a breakfast burrito guy. So an '87 is a pretty damn good yeah. score. I'm gonna go on record right now. Best breakfast burrito on the market. But if it's 800 calories, man, you better order this on a day that you're going to skip lunch. I'm going to go with a 94. Once again, Burger King at breakfast time, vastly superior to Burger King after 10.30 a.m. Do they sell breakfast uh, like all the way throughout the day? Nah, they're not sellouts like McDonald's. They recognize a yeah, time period. Those filthy sellouts. So just briefly, something interesting happened to us the other day. It was about 9.20 at night, my time, and I'm getting ready to go to work for the night, and my phone blows up. Several people, 
including friend of the show, The Endorsement, all saying, hey man, did you mean to post that video? Oh. And to which at that moment I had a minor freak out thinking, what video? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't worry, there's, there's no sex videos to be pumped out into the world or anything exciting. I just had no clue what video it was I, because I had nothing set up to go. So somehow the toaster strudel video we had uh, shot that morning appeared online unedited. It went from the hard drive of my computer to YouTube. That's the second time this has happened to us. What's really odd about this one, um, besides the fact that we actually had an unedited video go out without anything offensive said in it, no. Which is amazing. It is amazing. Sometimes we'll make a joke or something that doesn't come off right, so he ed edits it out. Or I will just say some really foul things just to get a reaction from him yeah. to take out of the video later. <laughs> Thankfully, none of that made this video. <laughs> but yeah, and I don't know. I've, I don't know what happened. So when I looked, it had like 100 views. I watched it, and we just left it up. So that's if you ever want to see us chewing a video, there's one for you. But to add to the weirdness of that video... I can't change the thumbnail. So there's a thumbnail of me. I'm like this. Yeah. And you're like this because you're chewing. Oh. And so in case you guys are wondering, like, why did they pick that thumbnail? It loaded itself and it won't let me change the thumbnail. I got no clue. But we're going to leave it because you know what? Screw it. Oddly enough, the day we made that, we had we like to make a lot of comments, like I said, Sometimes we'll make a lot of jokes. On that day, it felt like I'd made quite a few comments about Joey. Normally, not because I'm afraid of the wrath of Joey or because of whatever. You just take about half of them out because it was way too many. Yeah. Lucky us, on this same particular day, within like an hour of our video going out, Joey released an ASMR video of him eating. So, at that point, I was regretful that we didn't just spend 10 minutes making Joey jokes. Yeah, and let me tell you folks... Yeah, I watched it, and it was extremely unsettling. Extremely unsettling. He whispers, he moans while he eats, and he has horrible teeth. Horrible teeth. He shot the video in, like, HD so you can see his oily skin with moles and all that and his teeth. The spaces in between his teeth are filled with, like, yellow uh, plaque. Absolutely horrendous. I did not watch it. I sent him the link and then just waited. I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, if you want to be, like, freaked out or, like, just... It'll, it'll make you nervous. Or, or if yeah. you want to salvage your self-respect, you won't watch some putts begging for attention, moaning in a car. Whichever choice you want to make. He very passionately ate that food. Like, very passionately. So, yeah, uh, my only regret now about that video was we didn't have more Joey jokes that I didn't edit out. Yeah. Now, here's the other interesting thing about that video, and then we're going to hit our uh, shout-outs and go. That was the second time we had actually filmed the strudel video. We never film anything twice. This video was cursed from the start. We made a video that morning and I felt it was very low energy. It just, I wasn't feeling it. So I was like, let's do that again. And so we did it again. So the result was in that video the second time that we had reviewed the same product. Now, just because we can and we have two channels, I'm gonna take that original video that I felt was low energy I'm going to edit out all the low energy and just like make it like a five minute video. And like tomorrow on the other channel, we're going to review the same item. Why not? Because believe it or not, there are people that watch that channel that will never know that we've reviewed it over here. It's a good idea. Yeah, I guess. It's a little... <laughs> How weird would it be if we had two channels and we just started reviewing like the same thing on both channels, but in each review, we gave completely different opinions? Oh. That's, that's, that's like, messed up. Like, it is messed up. Just for instance, if we were reviewing a Whopper on this channel, we loved it. Or I loved it and you hated it. Yeah. And then we just shut the camera off and then went to the other channel the and the then exact switched opposite. positions. Yeah. We're not going to do that. A, it's not genuine. B, it's stupid. And most importantly, it would take too much energy. A lot of energy. But we are going to be putting more videos on the Mr. Dark channel, so watch out for that. We're going to be eating a lot of chips and drinking a lot of energy drinks. A lot of stuff we enjoy that nobody wants to see, so we take it over there, get our 100 views, and go on down the road. Facebook shout-outs. Facebook now at 429 likes. You, you right there, be the difference that we need today. You be the change we want to see. Go get us to 430, 
and you can get this quality shout out like we're about to give. Jessica Sumners. I know Jessica Sumners. Right on. Not well. <laughs> not like really good, but I know her on site. That's cool. What's up, Jessica Sumners? Thanks for clicking that like button. Here's someone I don't know, but I'm sure he's a swell guy, as they would have said in 1954. Jose Jimenez. Jose, if I messed up your name, I'm sorry. In fact, if I messed up your name, let me know. At least we didn't associate you with a serial killer. It would be really funny if I got his last name, Jimenez, correct? His first name, Jose, was really Josie or something. Uh, yeah. And I just completely fumbled it. Because every time I make a mistake, it's on the name that I think I've got. I get really? overconfident. Do you yeah. get like feedback when you make mistakes? Occasionally. Occasionally. P I'm sure people are like nice about it. Yeah, nobody's ever been yeah. really like, hey, screw you, pal. Why would you be angry about that? Hmm. <laughs> if you're angry about that, you gotta... You know, we don't want to know why you'd be angry about that. That's okay. Just keep it to yourself. That Captain America video I, I made a while back is getting me enough hate. Really? Yeah. That's weird. That's really weird. What do you mean, really? I showed you the comment war I had with that guy. Yeah, but I don't... I don't know, it's just, I don't think that people would react negatively to that video. I don't know. If you give an opinion about anything, people react negatively. I'm really, really surprised that, like, on the Orlando video that I made, my cat, <laughs> she hasn't had catnip in a while, and it's a good time right now. I'm really surprised that somebody didn't come out and be like, I'm all for killing people. Oh, my God. Because if all I said was... You know, killing people is bad, basically. Yeah. But there's always someone. But no one came out of the woodwork yet to get me on that's, that one. That's good. So that was good. Yeah, I watched that video. I thought, you, you know. I was very proud of that. Yeah. And if you haven't watched that video, it's right here. We haven't had the chance to do that all day. All right, we're going to bail. Um, if you want to see the peanut butter and jelly toaster strudel video completely different, go watch it on the other channel, Mr. Dark 0121 Help us to get to 2,000 uh, subscribers over there so that the other food reviewers don't make fun of us. We're very sensitive. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. We're not going to name it. Mr. Happy 0121. Just go to your favorite social media and type it in. It's Mr. Happy 0121. Until next time, stay vigilant.